In um, the last lesson, we worked on the navigation. Okay, so this is what we wrote, um, copied and pasted. So I'm going to um, minimize uh, the nav and we concentrate on uh, making a few more things. So let's create a default.css um, file. Okay, so I'm going to attach that default CSS here. So this would be used across multiple pages. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to bootstrap. Uh, click on the CSS tab and then click on grid system. So we're looking into the grid system. It's always written within our container or container fluid class. So let's uh, uh, do a div and add a class to it, um, container. Okay, so uh, we say hello world in there so we could visualize it. And let's see what that looks like. And there we go. So there's a space to the left. Let's um, go to the default CSS. I'm going to create a class uh, border one pixel red dotted okay and I will attach the class here so we could visualize and see what space it takes up so there we go we have uh, is center aligned for us um, and there's another uh, container fluid possibility that we could explore so let's have a look and see what this looks like add fluid to the end and reset so the fluid goes all the way from left to right okay um, so that's what it does so let's um, get rid of the fluid and leave it as it is now if we go into uh, default CSS I'm going to reduce the width so the maximum width is 100 1000 pixels okay so that looks more like the blog that we are recreating okay and um, if we go back into bootstrap so now the grid is made up of rows which is the horizontal and columns um, the vertical uh, divide of the rows so let's see that in action so I make a new div and in this div I make a class which is row and um, so we say within row, so we could visualize and see what's going on. Draw a border around it and reset. So we have uh, the border going all the way around. So I will remove this border there, so it's not double. So so that's basically what the row is. The row basically fills in the space that you put it in. Okay, so it's taking up the entire space of the container. So I'm going to add a new um, within row, we add a column. Okay, so this is how you do the column, column medium. So medium is a, a desktop size machine. So we put a number at the end, six. Um, just going to add the content into this. So we say column, okay, six. Okay, let, let's see what that does. So this this column is, is, is put inside, let's draw. Uh, a box around the column so there is the box and there we go so six basically goes halfway um, of our row so if I change six to ten we'll notice that it's gone further to the right and if we change it to twelve which is the maximum you will see it goes all the way to the end so the bootstrap grid system uh, stops at twelve okay so let's change it to four and let's change this to four and then we make four into three different columns which gives us a total of 12 okay so let's uh, remove that there and let's see what happens so we could see that because it's total of 12 everything is displayed on the same row but what happens if we change uh, say the last one to six so now we have a total of 14 so that breaks things up 
So the first two stays on the first line and the last one drops down. So this is the point of the column, but we can also do something else. We could add another column to it. So we say column, uh, a different size say small. So small, uh, basically tablets size. So medium is desktop or desktop. And then let's see if I resize and go down and you see what happens, it's changed. So let's make this a bit more um, obvious. Change it so when it goes down to a tablet size, is size two, like that. So desktop and then we have tablet, desktop and then tablet. So let's do something else for mobile sizes. So we say column, extra small and mobile sizes. So when it's mobile size, we want each column to be full length. So let's reset. We'll come back to tablet and we we'll keep going and that's a mobile um, size. So that's pretty awesome. That's, uh, that's how we use the column and the grid system, rows and columns. We could change this around if we want. So the, the small, um, if we push this back, uh, nothing happens. I need to reset first. So if we reset and then we we'll push it in. So there we go. Tablet size, the middle one is 12. We we'll go down to mobile and everything is 12. So pretty handy. Um, Bootstrap helps speed things up. Um, so over here, you can see the grid options. Extra small is for mobile phones. Uh, small is for tablets. Uh, medium size is for desktops. And extra large is for your iMacs uh, and massive screens and so on. Okay, so in the next lesson, we'll use the grid system to style um, our blog. And this concludes uh, this lesson. In the next lesson, uh, we'll carry on working with this document. So I'll see you in the next lesson.